Good morning. First steps. More states set to ease up on shelter restrictions starting today. Coming up on this Monday morning, as more states begin to reopen this week, the new warning from one of the nation's top health officials that social distancing may be here for quite some time. Also ahead, an exclusive first look at new technology that screens people for symptoms, why it could be the key to getting us back into our offices, our concert halls, and our stadiums. We'll have those stories. We're back with our ongoing series on the search for solutions. As we just saw, a lot of Americans are really eager for a return to normalcy, and everyone understands that. But what is it going to look like? Yeah, this morning we have an exclusive on technology that may help restart the country again, from getting back to work to attending things like concerts and sporting events. NBC investigative and consumer correspondent Vicki Wynn got to try it out firsthand. Hey, Vicki. Hi, Hoda. Well, everyone wants to know when will America reopen and what will it look like? One company is giving us a glimpse this morning into what could be the new normal, a device designed to screen hundreds of people an hour for symptoms of illness. We can't break our country over this. We have to get going. What we reopen will be better than what we had before. As the debate over when to reopen and restart the country rages, more questions. What will our lives look like? Can fans gather at sporting events, theaters? What about busy workplaces? Some, including New York City's mayor, say part of the new normal should involve health screenings. The important thing to recognize with the temperature checks, they absolutely have a role to play. This device may play a role in getting the country going again. It's called the Symptom Sense Medical Evaluation Gateway. The manufacturer says it can screen up to 600 people an hour for signs of illness. Company CEO Derek Peterson showed me how the technology works at their lab on Long Island, New York. Okay, Vicki, come on through. Okay. As you walk through, Face this way and put your feet on the yellow pads. As I walk in, Peterson says this sensor uses ultrasound to measure my height so the machine can adjust. Now we're going to calculate your body temperature and we're also going to look at your heart rate, resting heart rate, and oxygen level by this sensor right directly aimed at your chest area. In less than 10 seconds, this screen tells the operator my external temperature, respiration rate, blood oxygen level, and heart rate. So you're looking at these vital signs. What can that actually tell you about someone's health? Through our combination of looking at these four vitals, we could tell if somebody's well or not well. Peterson says because this is not a medical device, it doesn't require FDA approval. The machine doesn't collect data, and he says the technology to measure these vital signs is non-invasive. We're using a technology called millimeter wave technology to be able to scan the body for respiration rate and heart rate. We're also using our own proprietary technology for determining temperature. We validate against known equipment in the industry that can verify what we're doing. Let's be clear, this cannot tell me if I have coronavirus. Absolutely not. I can't tell you if you have the coronavirus, but what I can tell you is that you're maybe sick. It might detect vital sign differences that are consistent with coronavirus, but up to 50% of people with coronavirus are going to have normal vital signs, no symptoms whatsoever. NBC News medical correspondent Dr. John Torres says this device is not a magic solution to detecting coronavirus. How important are these vital signs to determining a baseline if someone may or may not be ill? Vital signs are one tool we use to look to see if someone Somebody is sick, but it's not the only tool. People with normal vital signs, if they have other complaints, they still might have a disease. What do you say to critics who say this might give people a false sense of security about whether or not they're healthy? It's just another tool trying to help people understand in a quick way if they're healthy or not. This is not the end no behold. But who decides what to do with this data? Tech ethicist David Polgar says it will be up to the organizations that use this technology to figure out how they respond. Do you think tools like this are helpful and do you think they will become commonplace? Yes, I do think that they, they can be helpful. We are in an extraordinary situation where I think a lot of people are looking at how do we balance our individual freedoms with more of a collective need for, for society. He compares the new technology to airport screenings after 9-11. I think a lot of us are talking about tools like this and other forms of technology that might have seemed unusual a year ago might be part of our future.
Well, as for the symptom sense, the company says it's received interest from thousands of companies and governments, including Major League Sports. The Greek government just ordered several of these devices, but it's unclear how to where they're going to use them. Yeah, and you did just talk about asymptomatic people being up to 50 percent, so that'll be tough. But the question is, it may help a little, so what does it cost and when could it get on the market? They are not cheap. They're about $35,000 a piece. The company is also working to incorporate a metal detector based on feedback early from sports leagues, so this can be more of an all-in-one screening tool, and they do expect to start shipping these devices in about one month. Okay, all right, Vicki, thank you for the update. All right. I